Good morning, oil traders. It is Sunday, July 30th at 10.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and we're still quite a few hours away from uh, Asian markets open uh, before our week gets started here in North America on Monday morning. And I thought we'd go over the past week, um, kind of what my plays were, what my expectations are, and hopefully hear from some of you about what your thinking is for the week ahead. Uh, July 24th to 28th was bullish to say the least. Um, if we take a look here, this is the chart for uh, the past month. Um, we can see that earlier this uh, in July, at, on July uh, 9th and 10th, we were as low as um, the mid 43s and the week closed just shy of 50. Um, I mean, just this week, we were as low as uh, the mid 45s and we've gone up as much as $4. Um, so it's it's quite a bullish week. We had this, um, basically this one pullback period um, on the 20th to the 23rd, just before this week got started, basically the, the end of last week, we were pulling back um, from the mid 47s down to uh, the mid 45s, we dropped $2 and then we've gone up past that and then some. Um, my expectation was that this pullback would have actually driven us closer to the lows that we had previously seen. Um, but uh, I mean, I never expected this sort of rally and my actions, my trades actually kind of uh, you know, demonstrate that. Uh, I had two long positions that I've been holding for quite a long time. And unfortunately, I got out of the first one much too soon, as is typical for me. I had a long position at 47 right here. And when we climbed from 47 to um, just shy of 48 here, that was on um, the 25th. So that was a Tuesday uh, ahead of news. You know, it's it certainly looked at that time that we were going to try to make a, a push for 48. But my rules say that, you know, when I'm offered a profit of two two plus percent I take it um, because you never know um, and it's worked for me in the past unfortunately it didn't work out this time and we spiked um, we spiked the next day and we just kept on going as you guys know so it was a it was a good profit I mean if we take a look at my um, results page here on tradingjournal.ca um, I managed to take you know almost two and a half percent on that position, uh, where you know a couple weeks prior to that I was wondering if I'd ever be able to get out of that position. So I, I'm not complaining, but uh, you know it's always a tough pill to swallow when you see all that profit left on the table as we continue to rise to nearly 50, and I had already sold my 47 long. Um, I am still holding a position, a long position at 52. Uh, and as I've been saying all week long, I don't expect us to get that high. I actually expect the turnaround to be where we are right now or just above 50, kind of the 50-20 um, ballpark-ish um, area before we turn around. That's my expectation. And as you guys can see from my portfolio page on tradyjournal.ca, um, I've been loading up on my short positions pretty much the whole week, um, you know, July 24th, 25th, 26th, and 28th. Um, so almost every single day I've been adding to that, uh, to my short positions. And, you know, the result has been, of course, painful uh, because we've just kept on going up. Uh, so my uh, unrealized loss has been growing and growing steadily, which, um, you know, I laugh, but it's, it's a nervous laugh, as you can imagine. Uh, it, it hurts right now. Uh, I do expect the turnaround to happen. I don't know if we're going to turn around. I mean, who knows? Nobody knows. I don't, I don't expect that we're going to drop suddenly from where we are back to 42. It doesn't typically happen that way. Uh, but I do expect a pullback from, let's say, 48 to maybe, four, uh, from, excuse me, from uh, where we are now, just below 50 to maybe 48 or 47, kind of rally back up and then et cetera, et cetera, the usual kind of up and down stuff. Um, and by adding to my short positions at kind of roughly a dollar, dollar fifty apart, my expectation is to be able to exit one or two positions as we kind of volley between the ups and downs um, and to profit from that volatility without actually necessarily ever believing in a particular direction. 
Um, obviously, you have to take a position and believe in something. And right now, I believe that we're overbought and we're going to sell off uh, as we come down. And as people kind of realize that it's not as rosy as it might seem, uh, I think everyone gets carried away in both directions, whether it's up or down, we just kind of get carried away, um, which I think is just human nature. Um, and I'm hoping to, to benefit from that as we reverse course. Now, I am pretty heavily weighted, as you guys can see from my portfolio, into the short positions with one, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> additions to my shorts and a liquidation of half of my long positions. Uh, so that's really resulting in my, uh, in my negative trajectory here on, on my unrealized holdings. Um, but I think it's going to pay off soon, um, hopefully this coming week, if not the week after that or the month after that. Um, I am only using about 55% of my capital right now, so I am prepared to kind of ride it out if I continue to be wrong. Um, but that's kind of my thinking, that's my game plan, that's my position. I'd love to hear what you guys have in mind. You can hit me up down below on the comments form in YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, etc. In the meantime, uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to stay tuned. And I'll check back with you guys ahead of Markets Open tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. on Monday. In the meantime, enjoy your Sunday, and I'll talk, talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Cheers.